spending a lot of time helping our kids have fun, but we're not really spending enough time helping them live in this world. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I pretty much think manners are gone. I mean, I, at least they're not as important as they were when we were growing up. I mean, do you remember when we were kids, if you couldn't speak to adults, if you were not polite, if you did not say please and thank you, you literally did not get invited anywhere. You did not. People would ask about that child, they say, he's terrible, he's got bad manners, not coming to my house. Right? Not anymore. People used to walk into people's houses and they'd say to the adults, hello, Mrs. Chittick, how are you? Thank you for having me. The other day, my son had a friend over. He comes in my house. I say, hello, John, how are you? He says, I'm hungry. <laughs> I was so confused, you know, and I was like, well, <clears throat> here's the thing, John. Um, you get to eat when I get to drink, which isn't about three hours, so that means we're both gonna be a little uncomfortable for a while. You know? And it's not just other people's kids, my kids are just as bad. It's terrible. The other day my son had a friend over and his friend was getting ready to leave. He was walking to the door. And as the, this little boy headed out, my son, who was laying on his bed, looking at his iPad, just kind of peeked up and he goes, see ya. I literally shot out of my chair. I was like, what the hell is wrong with you? Get up and walk your friend to the door. Get up and thank him for coming. Walk him out, you know? And I was so furious. I was mad at him, but I was more mad at me. I was like, did I forget to teach my son the importance of this gesture? Did I forget to tell him that what you do as a kid is when you're time with your friend is over, you walk him out to the door, you say thank you for coming, you put your arm around him, and then you look around to make sure there's no adults, and then you go like this. Hey, listen, sorry my mom was such a fucking lunatic today. That bitch is crazy. Is there any way we could go to your house next week, even though your dad drinks too much? I mean, kids used to make things happen, right? They made things happen because we let them, because we weren't all over them.